This episode of Horse Shelter Heroes is sponsored by Celia. We're going to tell you more about it later, but I'm super excited to have Celia on board to help us rescue even more horses. Shortly, I will be giving the puppies a bath. Apparently, the internet keeps popping in and out, meaning that sometimes we get internet, and sometimes we don't. Hopefully, we have internet because without internet, we don't work. We have a owner surrender coming. Um, there actually returns. It is two mammoth mules. One of the twins was out in the pasture and saw us not pouring. Then it has food in it. That's a like big sign of choke. Who will save We are still feeding and haying horses. As I'm making my rounds, we're gonna scrub out the water troughs, make sure that we can get them good and clean with some dawn and some good water. And uh, we're gonna fill them back up with fresh water and they should be good to go. We're going to be setting out some hay bales. I've got a few that are low. We're going to go ahead and clean out the ones that need to be cleaned and put a fresh bale in it and the ones that don't need to be cleaned. We're going to get them some good hay in there. So you're not going to see me in the next couple episodes, and you're not going to see Donnie, and you're not going to see Keith, and you're not going to see Angela because we're all going on vacation together. And it is so extremely important for rescuers, and anybody actually, to take the time, at least once a year, ideally more than once a year, to regenerate your soul. Like, you've got to take some time for yourself. And this time we happen to be going on vacation together. It's kind of convenient. and. Uh, they invited us on their vacation. We're like, okay, sure. So we're leaving the shelter in good hands. Caitlin's got the inside, Corey's got the outside, and everybody else is gonna do their jobs. And we know the horses and the other animals are gonna be taken super good care of. And we're gonna come back energized and ready to uh, rescue a whole bunch more horses because it's gonna be about that time of month again when it's time to rescue horses when we get back. So yeah, we're gonna catch up with you guys later. Uh, I'm cleaning out the cat cages, and then after that, shortly, I will be giving the puppies a bath. I'm getting ready to give Kurt his first bath. He's a little stinky, so. I'm gonna give him a bath, and then we're gonna take him over and get him in took once everybody else is cleaned too, of course. Little puppy burrito. Oh, you all cleaned. Are you mad at me? This one is Poseidon, and before he got messy and played in his poo poo, he was cream colored. Now he's brown. So, your turn. So all the puppies got a bath and they're all clean now and hopefully now they'll take a nap and not be so wound up. So we noticed that one of the uh, tires on the trailer was in pretty rough shape. Um, this will happen if you don't address, adjust your trailer brakes uh, according to the amount of weight that you're hauling. So gonna make sure that we get this new tire on we're gonna get this spare tire replaced and we're gonna make sure that the uh, trailer brakes are set to the correct 
setting on the truck as well. I'm gonna do my best here, but a lot of these threads are pretty chewed up on these studs. So it might be beneficial to uh, get some new studs put on here. I had to use a lot of force in order to get these, these off here. I can't imagine if uh, someone else had to do this. So the reason that you go in the star pattern is to make sure that the whole rim is flush there against the hub. If you just go around, it's possible that you won't get all the way flush. And over time, what that'll do is it'll start wearing on your studs and it could potentially break your studs. And then you have a tire flying down the road and sparks flying behind you, which is not good. We'll get those tightened up. And I have to go get a new lug nut. I don't know if you can see it, but the inside of those threads really chewed up. So it's going on there straight at first and it's twisting and getting offset. And that's just the way it wants to go on. You can look at that, it's not completely straight on there. So we'll make sure we get that fixed properly so we don't have to worry about any safety issues going down the road. And that's also why I'm going to get a new spare tire today. Is that way if there is a flat tire at some point when somebody is using this trailer, they can actually replace it. Yep, we're good to go. So I just gotta go get that new lug nut. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the trailer here and go grab the stuff I need. Apparently the internet keeps popping in and out, meaning that sometimes we get internet, sometimes we don't. Uh, normally we have the issue where the internet completely disappears, but this time it's just going in and out. So I think this happened before and it means that the router is dying, but I don't want to count that yet. I already tried disconnecting it, that didn't work. So um, yeah, hope for the best and uh, hopefully we have internet because without internet we don't really work. Nothing's working for you either, Isabella? Is the internet affecting your job? It is, unfortunately. I need the internet all the time. So right now I'm just on hold taking care of some bills and making some phone calls. That's all I can do until the internet comes back on. Is the internet affecting your job? Yes, but I'm cleaning. I'm organizing our small animal office. Um, it was a little bit crazy. It's a slow progress. I did do this side though. Don't look at anything else, only this shelf. <laughs> That's mine. And this is mine. Somewhat clean. Gotta go back to doing my job now. The internet's back on. Yes, the Wi Fi is working, the internet is working, the Ethernet's working, everything involved with fancy electronics is working. So, um, I don't know if they stopped filming. Did they stop filming? No, they're still filming. Okay, they're still filming, so. Okay, <sighs> Isabella gives me that eyes, you know, like, if I get in trouble with her, I get in trouble with everyone, so yeah. You gotta be careful with Isabella. But, um, yeah, everything seems to be working order, so yeah. Awesome. I think that's another problem solved for the day. We have a owner surrender coming. Um, they're actually returns. They originally adopted them from us. It is two mammoth mules. And we are so excited to have them back. Um, they're in really good shape and are extremely beautiful. Um, we are so excited. They are humongous. We've gotten a lot of small mules lately, so it's nice to see some big juicy ones. So we just had these two mules come in. They were owner surrenders. They had adopted them from us before, um, but they were moving states. So they sadly couldn't take these mules with them. 
So they went ahead and brought them back to us. We're hoping to find them really good homes yet again. They were in a fantastic home, so hopefully the next one is just as good. Very excited to have them back though. So I got back from town with a new spare tire for this trailer and our other Ebby over there. This was the culprit. So the lug nut that was cross-threaded no longer worked. And I went to a couple of the auto parts stores and they just couldn't help me out. So the, uh, the tire sh uh, shop actually had a couple of these lug nuts. So we'll see if any of these work. I think that one will work. There's just a couple things in the thread, so I'll clean that up. All right. We are good to go. I've got some other things that I gotta go get taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and park this back where it needs to go. And then off to the next thing. We are working on giving vaccines today to several of these donkeys that came in the September buyout. Um, these guys were castrated a little while ago and they're getting their vaccines today. This is Fergus. He um, he came in with like a big hole in his neck. Like it's like an old injury, super like completely healed. But um, we're not sure if it's like from a dog bite or some other large predator or if he like skewered himself with a T-post or what happened, but it doesn't seem to affect his health. It's just an old injury. Uh, I think it's Rascal, but let me scan him. They all look very similar. <laughs> yes, this is Rascal. Did you just spit it out? He's trying to like rub the taste out of his mouth. No, <laughs> but I think you got it though. Yeah. I don't think he needs more. Look, at he's like, ew. That's the goofiest reaction I've seen in the Quest Plus. This is Paquito. He's just a little baby. He's just a little baby. We did vaccines on seven of the donkeys that came in the September buyout. Um, and so they're all good to be adopted as soon as the 60 days passes. My name is Lyric and I am a horse trainer here at Horse Plus. Here with me, I have Midnight. He wants to be the star of the show, um, which he is pretty enough to do so. So I have worked at Horse Plus since August of this year. So we're going on three months. So what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is, it's kind of in the title, I train horses. Um, sometimes some other things come with it, but most of the time I'm just out here with these guys. My favorite thing about Horse Plus is I'm getting to work with horses that really need somebody with patience to guide them and bring them along this journey and make them good citizens for people that just want to love them and let them see that people aren't so bad all the time. There's some bad apples out there, but we get to kind of give them a second chance and make sure that they're set up for a good, happy life. Outside of work, I work with my own horses. I've done training on the side for a long time and right now I'm just focusing on my own personal horses. That way I can put a lot of my time and energy into these guys here that really need me.
I've got quite a few favorite animals. I'm a major animal lover from littles to bigs. Um, I love them all, but horses will always have my heart. Do you always feel tired? Are you having a hard time getting work done? Well, worry no longer. Introducing Celia, Cellular Regeneration Daily Dose. Just take a few and see what happens. I feel so much better done. Now I can get this application done. Celia, designed to help improve your health and with daily use, may increase your energy levels, making you feel vibrant and ready to take on the day. I've been taking Celia for a few weeks now. I'm able to get through the day and get through the grant applications that I need to process throughout the day without feeling sluggish and down. And I recommend Celia for everyone. It's an amazing product. Sir Galahad is choking and we think he's also colicking. Um, we talked to Dr. Lydia and unfortunately she wasn't able to come out um, this morning and so we were on our way to the vet to get a tube passed um, to hopefully get his choke cleared and hopefully get his gut moving again. One of the twins was out in the pasture and saw snot pouring and it wasn't just normal snot, it had food in it. So that's like a typical sign of choke is if you see lots of snot coming out one side or both sides and it has food in it. That's a like big sign of choke. And then he was also laying down quite a bit and trying to roll. should um, pass a tube through his nostril and that'll go into his esophagus to clear the blockage. So the doctor should be coming out soon to pass the tube to try to clear his choke. They did request that we don't film while they're treating him um, so you won't see what happens but we'll keep you updated as we go. So besides like the actual food blockage there's all the snot in the whole tube. So Sir Galahad got his choke cleared, he got his teeth floated. When he gets back, we're just gonna keep him in a stall for a little while to keep an eye on him and make sure he gets soaked feed for a while and probably for forever, just to make sure it doesn't happen again. We're back. Uh, we're gonna stick him in a stall right now and um, He'll get some soaked feed in a little bit, but we're gonna just let him hang out and make sure he's drinking water good before he gets any more food. <laughs> yeah. He's still passing quite a bit of snot. Um, we're gonna make sure that he drinks water before he gets any food at all. Why aren't you in the media room? So I've finished my duties for today and so I'm on a different duty. <laughs> so specifically dog duty. <laughs> so that is what I'm doing. So 
I just got done helping with um, the dog stalls and cleaning them up and uh, I'm done now. So I'm gonna go back inside. I am getting ready to intake all of our little puppies that we have so that they are one step closer to finding their new homes. Oh, so, cute. So, cute. Oh. so Zeus is all done and next on the list is going to be Mr. Poseidon. Okay, so all the puppies are done with their intake. They have gotten wormed, their microchip, and all of their necessary vaccines. Hey, Don. Hi. What are, what are you up to? Just working on from full circle of life grants we got in over the weekend. Nice, how's that all going? We opened the applications up early. I've got three so far. One in New Hampshire, one in Wisconsin, and one here in Tennessee. Very cool. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Hey Macy, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on some shorts for Facebook. I'm just kind of going through all of our previous episodes and just finding some really good shorts to put on our social media. Nice. Great job. John, what, what are you doing? I am done with the episode. So you guys get a chance to see that last week but then this is for next episode so I don't know how that works but I'm done so great job yeah how is it with Jason gone I'm doing dad jokes it's not good that's never good do you have a dad joke in mind right now <sighs> why did the chicken cross the road why he didn't he was too chicken about it <laughs> This is TC. I just finished his intake and he's gotten his rabies vaccine and so now he gets to go outside and be with all the rest of our adult outdoor cats. So he gets to become a barn cat. He gets to become a wild barn cat. Good luck, buddy. You ready? What do you think? <laughs> he says I went back inside. He's like, let me inside. It's okay. Be nice. We've been down here in Aruba and it's been an amazing vacation. We're leaving tomorrow, but we're gonna go check out the donkey sanctuary here in Aruba. Uh, like 500 years ago, donkeys were brought to the island and they were used as work animals. And then as vehicles came to the island, their use wasn't needed anymore. And we actually work with a lot of different uh, countries that are using donkeys as their mode of, of labor animals. It'll be really neat to see the sanctuary and see these animals that are living on this island that are descendants from um, the work animals from years and years ago. So uh, it's really nice that there are all transportations of vehicles. So it can happen um, and it'll be neat to see the sanctuary. Some sick donkeys that need uh, the sweets. Mm -hmm. uh, I am cutting apples and carrots for them so they have that as an extra to their diet. So how did the donkey sanctuary get founded and how long ago and what was the need? Why, why did this organization start? Uh, 
1997, the foundation was established and it was founded by He's still with us. He will be 30 in spring, and he's the one it all started with. Children poured boiling water over his back, and um, one of the founders saw that, took him home, put him under the tree, took care of his wounds, and that's how they started talking of uh, establishing the donkey sanctuary. And that is uh, was last April was 26 years ago. They were brought here more than 500 years ago by the Spanish, and uh, people always used them as a way of transportation. They had a very important role in the fresh water distribution. So when the car was introduced to the island and the running water was installed, there was no use for donkeys anymore, and they were set free, and that was somewhere in the middle of the last century. You can adopt a donkey for $200 a year, and the first time when you adopt, you get a t-shirt that says, I adopted your donkey on a rumor. And with the renewal, you only uh, get a certificate and a letter, which you also get the first time. You pick a, a donkey of your choosing, can be any donkey, because we have one bank account, we have one medical bill, we have one food bill, so it can be any donkey. And one donkey can be adopted many times. For instance, we have a donkey who has an amputated leg, and he is very popular for the adoption, so he's adopted many, many times. But it doesn't matter because also the ones who are not adopted, they will get the care that they need. So, how did the donkey get its amputated leg? What's his story? He was hit by a car in San Nicolas in front of Camini's kitchen. And uh, that's why his name is Camino. Uh, broke his leg. We did surgery, and when the surgery, uh, when the pins came out, it was still broken. Started to get infected, so we said, um, "Let's try amputation. Euthanization is always a, the last option, not the first." And he's doing great. He hops around. He's interfering with everybody. He's interacting with everybody. He brays, and so yeah, he's doing good. And then your donkey's feet all look amazing. So you have a farrier that comes in all the time, or do they? No, they wear down they their wear hooves them? on the rocks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But we don't have a smooth terrain, and we leave them on the rocks in place. Sometimes we have the farrier here for just an exception. So they just move around out there and trim their own feet by just just walking. Yes. All the rocks. Well, their feet look amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Their feet look amazing. Yeah. If somebody's watching the video and they're like, I want to learn more about donkeys in Aruba, how do they find you? Google donkeys Aruba and then you go to, to our website okay. uh, or Facebook page. We also have an Instagram account, Donkey Sanctuary. One donkey costs $140 a month. So it's US dollars. US? Okay. US dollars, yes. So 140 yeah. yeah. One. Yeah. 126. That's a, that's a big number. That's a big number, yes. Yeah. So donations could definitely be, uh, yeah. be appreciated. Oh, yes, yes. We have a donate button on our website that you can use to make a donation. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for uh, letting us interview you. You're welcome. Send me the link when it's done. Yeah, and what was your name? My name is Desiree. Desiree. Okay. I run the place. Okay, awesome. Yeah. We've had a wonderful time on our vacation here in Aruba. We've done hiking, also done a lot of trails on the Jeep. Um, but we did, I, I was really excited about coming to this donkey sanctuary here in Aruba. Um, I researched online and um, looks like they're doing amazing work. So. a little bit more about this organization and the amazing work they're doing here in Aruba. So even though we're on vacation, um, we want to we definitely check on, on our equine friends 
uh, no matter where we're at and especially organizations out there that are trying to do good for equines, no matter where they're at in the world, um, you know, I'm always interested. This is just adorable, the bathroom. We got Jenny's over here and Jack's over here. That is so cute. So all the donkeys I basically all of them that I've met in the United States, uh, they love the inside of their ears rubbed. And I'm gonna give it a try to see if Aruba donkeys like the inside of their ears rubbed. No? Okay. He does not like that. No? Apparently it doesn't work in Aruba. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I think we got a winner. It's been great visiting uh, this donkey sanctuary. I told them about our grant program and they actually had a need um, that they were able to submit a grant while we were there and we were able to give them a grant. They had a older donkey that um, was suffering that needed humane euthanasia and our humane euthanasia grants go around the world and if uh, you know there's an animal that needs euthanasia, um, we have grants to help with that. Whether it's an organization in the United States, a private owner, or private owner around the world, or an organization. So it's really great that we are able to come here and also uh, get them a grant through our program to help a donkey that really desperately needed help. So it's been amazing uh, being here and uh, lots of happy donkeys on one happy island. I get into the Jeep and Angela immediately says, Tony, work-life balance. <laughs> uh, I was helping the lady submit the grant and I um, I messaged Dawn and was like, hey Dawn, it's our grant manager. There'll be a grant coming in and uh, we've, we already paid for it. And she messages, Tony, you're on vacation. You're not supposed to be working. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really neat to see an organization helping donkeys here in Aruba and they're doing great work. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes sponsored by Celia. Celia is an amazing company and they want to help horses. 20% of every order purchased through Celia will be donated to Horse Plus Humane Society. And the exciting thing is, if we can get 100 orders within the first month, they'll donate enough to save. We'll be able to save one more horse. They will donate $1,000 if we can sell to 100 people their first order. So check it out. The product is great. And the energy drink, I mean, you've seen in the episode, it helped out our staff. And you can always purchase it and send it to us as well. And it's really important to have, you know, all the supplements that we take care of for our animals. It's just as equally important to take care of ourselves. So please check out their website, place an order with the link below, and help us get to that 100 orders so we can rescue one more horse.